Salvador starter day five. Hey y'all, it's April. Thanks for stopping by my crazy creative life. In today's video, we are continuing the sourdough starter and today is day five. So let's pull it out and see if it's what it's done. Now this morning, I went ahead because it is cold, you know, I went ahead and put it in my oven and just turned my oven light on. I didn't turn any heat on, just the oven light on. Cause I know sometimes when you're proofing bread and it's cold in your house, you can put it in your oven with just your oven light on and that kind of helps just give it enough warmth to help your bread to rise when you're making just, you know, regular bread. So I thought, let's try that and see. So I'm gonna pull it out and see if it's helped any, if it's kind of got it, you know, help it going. So let me go ahead and pull that out and let's see what happens. I believe that has helped some. You can't really see much there. So let's go ahead and, and let's go down and see, <laughs> look inside of it. It feels warm, so that has helped. Look at that. You start seeing, can you see that? It's really starting to bubble up now. I don't really smell any smell yet though, but it's getting there. I really think that putting it in the oven there helped. So I'm gonna go ahead and do like I've, I've done every other morning. We're gonna weigh it, we're gonna dump out half of it, and then we're gonna feed it and be done. So let me go ahead and grab my stuff and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna zero this out. Go. Okay, we should have had 333 because we started off with 111 cerdo starter, then we added 111 flour, 111 liquid, so that should have gave us uh, 333. So we've grew a little bit, so we're at 344. So we're going to remove half of this, and if you recall, I'm going to move it uh, into my quart size jar because the pint is starting to get too small. So I'm going to zero this out again. And it said 172. We should, so the half of the, whatever I said. Anyway, it should be 172, this sourdough starter. So I'm going to mix it up first. Give her a good stir. I'm starting to smell it now that I stirred it. Yeah, it's starting to have a little bit of a, a fermented smell. So that's good, that's what we want. Mm-hmm, good. All right. All right, I went a little overboard, that's okay. It's 170, well, it's finally settled. Okay, 178, which is okay. So since I went overboard and we're at 178, then, uh, then I'm gonna put in 178 flour, 178 water, most likely a little extra water. Seems like I'm having to use a little more water, but anyway, so let's go ahead, 178. We're gonna add the flour. I'm gonna zero this out. So 178. There we go. Now we need 178 grams of water. Perfect. Now let's just stir all this up. I think that is. I'm gonna add just a little bit more water. Still a little thick, but I think 
it'd be okay. It's just a really thick pancake batter consistency. Let's see if I can. It's definitely lumpy, but it is smooth out as it ferments. Mm -hmm. Just trying to show you how thick it is. And I think I'm feeling it doing that. Remember to clean your edge off. So just put our paper towel back over it and the lid and I'm going to set it over here by my stove. Let me get the one out of the refrigerator. It's one out of the fridge. It's starting to get like a buttermilk smell too so it's starting to ferment even the one in the fridge. Because this will continue to ferment um, even in your refrigerator just not near as fast. That's why we've not got there yet, but when you are done with your sourdough, it's become active where you can use it, but maybe you're not needing it for a few days or so, then you'll put it in your refrigerator to kind of slow it down. But we'll go over that closer to time. And if you have not found out by yet, this stuff is really, really sticky. <laughs> and it is hard to get out of your mason jars or your cups or whatever. We have a good, decent amount now, and I know the recipe for pancakes takes about a half, a cup and a half of sourdough starter. I will have to look up um, the crackers because it's been a while since I've made them. I for, can't remember how much you use for crackers. So anyway, that is, let's see, a pint is what, two cups? So I'd say we have about a cup and a half there. We've got enough for pancake batter. Right. So there we are. That was day five. And um, as you see, we are starting to ferment. We are starting to notice some bubbles and starting to get a slight smell. It's kind of like just a fermenting yeasty, almost buttermilk type smell today anyway. And it may change, but right now it's kind of what it's smelling like to me anyway. So I may make some crackers or pancakes. I may make some pancakes. We'll see here in a little bit. And whenever I get them made and edited, then I'll, of course, release that video too. So y'all, I have a question for you. I told you in this video that I would be using the discard. I didn't know if I was gonna use it for pancakes or for crackers. And if I do, I will make a video and put it out there. Well, I decided to make pancakes. I thought I had a cup and a half of the discard and I did not, I only had a cup. And then I thought, well, I'll add a little bit more flour to it to make up for the loss, uh, you know, that was a dumb idea. I don't even, I just, I would put way too much flour in it. So these are the ugliest, by far, the ugliest pancakes I have ever made in my entire life. <laughs> they taste okay. I mean, you can eat them. They're, and my youngest, she says that they're good. So, I mean, you can eat them, but they're not that good. They're more like a biscuit, I guess, because where I put that extra flour in it. So, do you want to see that video? It's, it, I'm showing plenty of mistakes. I'm not showing you, I don't know if I'm showing you anything good or not. I, I feel like I'm just showing you nothing but a bunch of mistakes. So, do you want to see that video? If you do, I'll edit it and I'll put it out. If not, then I'll just chalk it up to an experience. So, anyway, let me know in the comment section, do you want to see this video of the pancakes or not? But hopefully you've learned something. Hopefully this is starting to kind of make sense. Like I said, day one, I was giving out so much information and I know it probably got all jumbled. Plus, instead of saying, kept saying 120, I started saying 180. I don't know why I jumped up to 180. Who knows with my brain, but, <laughs> and I'm sorry. So if that confused you, I'm really sorry. But hopefully this is clearing everything up and, and that's it. So I'll shut up Gavin and let you go and if you haven't subscribed yet i hope you hit that little subscribe button and become a part of this crazy family go ahead and give me a like and that really helps my channel grow and then turn on the notification bells that way you know whenever i upload more videos and i've got several i've actually got several i need to get edited and get out there so so there's they're coming just uh you got to hit that notification bell to know when they're there so anyway i'll let you go i hope you're safe and warm and having a blessed day and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.
Hey, if you like this video, you may want to check out my previous video or my previous series. Talk to you soon.